Hey everyone, my name is Kia, host of One One Outreach Christian Ministries Verse of the Day series. It's so great that you're able to join me for today's verse of the day. There's no better way than to start the day than in God's word. My hope is to better equip each viewer to live authentically for God by expounding and applying scriptures to our lives. Now, if you're ready to begin, let's get started. So today's verse of the day is found in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 15. And for this reason, he is the mediator of the new covenant by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant that those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. Oh my goodness. Ugh, this is so loaded. So we, okay, I, it's, it's going to be a lot. So in Hebrews chapter nine in particular, we talk about, um, even Hebrews in general, but I think in chapter nine specifically, they we talk about um, the role of Christ, uh, the role of Jesus. Jesus is our mediator. Um, he is the person in between us and and, and God, uh, because of course sin, as you know, um, when we disobey God, we what we did was transgress against His holy law, which we call sin. Um, and God, of course, is holy and can't tolerate sin, um, so that severed our relationship. Um, or, or our right standing um, with God. Um, so we always had this um, big gap between us and God that no man could ever cross because all men have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So uh, God didn't destroy us, um, and thank, thankfully for that. Uh, but what God did was send himself um, in the flesh, in the, in the person of Jesus Christ, um, to be our propitiation, um, to be to be our redeemer, um, to reconcile us back to God. Um, so the role of Christ, because he has risen, like we talked about in yesterday's verse of the day, um, and has extended into the right hand of the throne of God. He is our mediator. Um, he mediates between God and man through his blood. And the thing where we at now, even verse 14, it says, how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offer himself without a, without spot to God, because um, he's the Lamb of God, like we talked about last week, um, cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. So we have today's verse of the day. It says, and for this reason, he is the mediator of the new covenant. Mm, praise God. For the redemption. Okay, so let's start right there. He's the mediator of the new covenant. The old covenant was never meant to, it never had the ability and God never purposed it to be able to save us from our sins. Um, because, um, it's not possible for animal blood to take away the sins of the world, um, or the sins of man. It, it, it required a man, um, someone in the flesh, uh, to be able to, um, be that sacrifice. Um, and here comes Jesus Christ, praise God. Um, so under the old covenant, God never purposed uh, for animal blood um, to ever take away. Um, it couldn't, anyway, uh, the sins of man. Um, what it was supposed to do is to really showcase or show um, the sin in everyone's life. Even Paul talks about, um, before the law, um, I didn't know I had sin, right? But when the law came, sin abound. Sin became alive in him. Because what God's word did and his law that he's given to Moses was it it, it made it revealed everyone's heart. It, re it revealed everyone's sinful condition and how God sees them. And what that was supposed to do was God's law was supposed to do what it did actually. And that was the intent of it was to show every man's sin, sinful state that they're in to to basically, in a sense, strike them with the shame and guilt it comes with um, sin because they have sinned against, we have sinned against God. And that was intended to turn us to God for forgiveness. Um, people struggle with that even today, like they struggled back then. That when we call people sinners, it's not to insult you or anything like that, but it is meant to, to, to save you. Because if you can relate to being a sinner, trespassing God's moral law, then, then, then you are able to see that you need a savior from your sin. You know what I mean? And that was God, that is God's plan. 
So the old covenant was not intended to ever <laughs> save people because it was impossible for it. But it's a purpose to save, um, shine light on people's sin and point it all to Christ, the true mediator, um, the the the. the the true mediator of the new covenant. Okay, so the blood of of the animals in the old covenant was, in a sense, a a, um, a shadow of the one true mediator. But Christ is the mediator of the new covenant. The new covenant through His blood, once for all time, by means of death. Christ is only the mediator because of His blood that was shed through dying through death for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant. Okay, um, he's basically fulfilled the uh, the old covenant in a nutshell. That those who are called may receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. God could have left us right where we were. Jesus, even in the garden when he was praying in Act in um, John chapter seventeen, he could have said, "Look, I'm gonna send me. Please send me a legion of angels here and, and rescue me. Take this cup from me." Um, and Jesus could have got up and left. Frankly, it never did what he was. Uh, he, he had a, you know, he had a choice basically, and thank God he chose um, to be obedient where we were not, and where we struggled to be. Thank God Christ was obedient to the will and submissive to the will of God, and that he became our mediator through means of death by dying on the cross for the redemption of. The, for the redemption of the transgressions under the first covenant. Our transgressions are still alive and well under the old covenant because, again, it's not possible for animal blood to take away our sins. All it did was appease God for a time and turn away his wrath for a time. That's why it, the, the sacrificial system of the old covenant was continuous um, and, and it had to continue to be continuous, um, but it did not save man. Christ's blood that was shed once forever is able to save man, mankind, where animal blood simply could not. So Jesus, by dying, what he did was redeemed all of the transgressions that were kept under that old covenant, that those who are called, so those who had died before, Jesus Christ, and, 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 and so way before our time, um, those who have died under the old covenant were redeemed by the blood of Christ that was shed for the remission of sins. Brothers and sisters, God is so faithful. I love David wrote plenty of times that, that he, that his redeemer lives, that, 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 you know, God is his rock. God is his savior, his salvation. Um, he calls God. And that is because David understood just like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, and, 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 and so many other people, they understood that even though they didn't see it now, that it was not actively present, that they knew a savior would come and save the world from sin that he would be the mediator, that he would be our redeemer that we need. And that's why we have the hall of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, where all those people who whose transgressions were the, under the old covenant, um, 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 they believed, they looked to that future. They looked, they hoped, which is now faith is the substance of things hoped for. They hoped for that savior to come. But the evidence of things not seen, but they did not, were not able to experience like we can today. Brothers and sisters, this is truly a gift and a privilege, honor, and opportunity we have been given. If we're breathing today, you have a choice whether you're going to believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. But before you even believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior, and I'm talking to, I can't assume everyone knows Jesus Christ personally, but before you're able to accept him, and believe on him. Realize that you are a transgressor. You are a sinner against God's holy law. And because of sin, death and God's wrath reigns on you continuously. That is the consequence of your sin. But because of the work of Christ Jesus on the cross, by dying, being buried, and resurrecting, and ascending, we have hope that we don't have to face God's wrath, that we don't have to face a permanent death.
that Christ Jesus bore our guilt, bore our shame, and paid the price we should have paid on the cross. We have a hope. So I pray that if the words are touching you today, or even God's word is touching you more importantly, then I pray that you will believe on Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth that he is Lord and God raised him from the dead and be saved. For the Bible says that those who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do not wait another second because it's not promised to any man. Thanks for watching. Comment below and share your thoughts on today's verse. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and click on that bell notification so you won't miss any new content that's released. If you would like to help us put more videos out like this one, click on the link in the description where you can donate to the ministry. We appreciate your generous donations that help us to get the truth of God's word to all people all across the world. If you have any questions for myself or One One Outreach Christian Ministries, feel free to write us. The link is also in the description. Thanks for watching and helping us to proclaim the gospel, spread the love of Christ, and advance the kingdom of God. I'll see you next time.